the code is fully available here it is save my car parking app so basically you can uh, be in a location and you can click on save spot which will store the location your current fine uh, location in the shared preferences and then once you load the app again or in the same uh, session you can just click on directions to the car which will take you to google maps which will give you a walking direction from your current location to the car that you have parked so there are certain aspects to it so first of all you need to integrate google maps uh, which you can do easily by creating a new maps activity so if you go here you have this uh, google maps activity okay, it's not showing here but you when you go to new project you basically get that option uh, you can just choose Google Maps acti activity and then uh, you need to get one API key. So basically Google Maps is not free um, if you are doing development with it. So you need to go to this link after you create the project. Uh, it will directly open up this page and just copy paste this link in your browser and you should be able to get a key from Google. So something like this. So you just need to copy the key and then use it. So this is my key. So that is why I'm not sharing it. Uh, so this is free for certain usage. So for your testing purposes, it should be fine. And then you need to take care of adding permissions. So basically you need two permissions, course location and fine location. You need both because uh, we are going to access the my location functionality, which is like pinpointing the app or the user's location so let's go back to our app so you can see this is the my location button so if i click it it will zoom into the location your current location so this uses find location and find location uses course location so you need both the locations uh, both the permissions and you need to ask for both of them not one so if you see the code we are actually requesting for both of them and if you are in android api 12 uh, then first the user will only grant course location and then you need to check the code or check the response and then again request him to give you the fine location so that is something uh, that you need to take care of apart from that location services might be off uh, it might not be on uh, you can say high accuracy mode so we need to check that part also and we need to enable those settings if everything is success we just enable my location enabled and the map will start showing the location of the user like this like generally how you see in google maps and you can always focus on it by clicking on this button this is the my location button which we have enabled using this we have also enabled zoom controls uh, zoom gestures are also enabled and compass is also enabled so all those things are here so apart from that uh, we are using a marker so whenever like I say save spot this marker is created and now if I kill the app and launch it again instead of zooming into the user location uh, we actually zoom into the marker location so let me just change this location to somewhere else so you can do it using this emulator settings if you are on the emulator and go to location this is the map you can actually set it to anywhere in the world so now let me relaunch the app again so you can see now we have zoomed into the car location or the spot that we have saved and now if i click on this icon it will take me to the current location and then i can request for directions so these are hard coded to walking directions you can change it i, I you can even give the user an option so this is the code mode is equal to w for walking so go through this code and try to come up with certain enhancements or if you don't understand the code ask for doubts so this is coming from google maps actually you can see it has come up with the directions you can even switch to car or transit or even cycling 